Are you ready? I'm starving. Let's go. Good boy. Aww, bud. Good boy. Day one, I already screwed up my uh, goal to eat more of just what I make. <laughs> lighting isn't too terrible um I woke up this morning really not feeling well again and so I took some mucinex nighttime and um hi <laughs> I fell back to sleep for a bit and I woke up just before noon <laughs> and um I'm feeling a little bit better now I still have a kind of a headache I need to take some caffeine for that. <laughs> Dora is very excited because I'm talking. Um, I haven't really been talking at all all morning. Hi. Oh, he wants up in his window. I didn't open the window because I just, like, don't feel great and I didn't want the, the light in here. Ow, ow, fuck. God. Damn, his nails are so sharp. Yeah, hi. I cut them, but we haven't been on a long walk yet, so they're still a little sharp from a little. They're like claws from uh, me cutting them. Um, I am going to lunch with my aunt and granny, um, and I we are going to Olive Garden. They wanted to go to, like, Leo's or Culver's or, like, any of those places. And it's like, Olive Garden for soup, salad, and breadsticks is the same price as all those places. So let's just do that. Because <laughs> I want some soup, salad, and breadsticks. So that's what we're doing. You're kind of crazy, huh? I know you have so much energy. And we haven't done anything today. I'm sorry. Here's some anecdotal evidence that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Uh, I left for lunch with Granny and Sissy when I was supposed to be there. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but, um, it's a very short drive at least, so I'm only going to be about 13 minutes late. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't learn time management from my parent. <laughs> we can definitely say that. Chara was just growling at something outside. Um, so I totally did not pull out my camera at Olive Garden. I just had soup of Toscana and salad. And the waitress was awesome and put a ton of black olives on the salad for me. I think I might try to um, take a nap because my head hurts a lot. This guy right here. <laughs> Just lay down, dude. Or get back in the window and keep growling at something because it's cute. You're adorable. Okay, get up there. Does it look bad? No. Don't lie to me. No, I love your face. Does it look better with the beard? Okay, look, I have a personal preference for beards, but you don't look bad. It's just funny because, like, I think I've seen you clean shaven once. So, it's just funny. <laughs> So a funny thing happened tonight, um, all week I'd been wondering where the hell all of my lip glosses and lipsticks went that were in my purse. I have like dedicated pockets on the front 
that I've been using for um, different things. So like I'll put my car key in this one, my um, phone and like, or cam, phone and or camera, whatever camera I'm using um, at the time. And then uh, this one has been like my lip glosses and lipsticks. So, um, there were only two, like one lipstick and one lip gloss in there. And then my mirror, that's a little like, um, flat round button, which is in here now, uh, being kept safe. <laughs> this here, I've had this for a real long time. It means a lot to me. Um, oh, hi, Jora. <laughs> hi. This, this isn't about you. <laughs> no, this, this isn't about you. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I was kind of, I was grabbing some stuff out of my purse tonight and I felt down in like the bottom of my purse, like, hang on a second. Um, so because I've been like really sick all week, I just figured, you know what, I'm just not remembering taking them out of my purse and putting them somewhere. Even though, like, I've been keeping my eye open for them here and, you know, wondering what the hell could I have done with those or why would I have taken them out of my purse, but never really seriously enough looking. So tonight, I was rooting around in my purse, like, feeling for some stuff, gonna kind of, like, clean out a couple of things. Because, you know, let's face it, it's a brand new purse and there's already stuff I gotta clean out of it. And I could feel in the like very bottom of the purse, um, between the liner, um, like this is a really deep pocket, this is the center pocket. I could feel between the liner and the like actual purse body, that's where all my damn lip glosses went. And so I pulled out the pocket, I pulled out a couple of things that were in it, and I'm like, well, there's no hole, like, what the heck? Yeah, this whole side over here <laughs> um, came unstitched. So they all fell through this hole into the body of the purse. <laughs> so I think I got them all out of there. I'm gonna double check, like I've been like rooting my hands around in it. Um, so I just need to uh, sew that up. <laughs> so that I can keep using that pocket. So goofy. I was like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> where did all my lip glosses go? My purse ate them. It makes sense, doesn't it? Doesn't it, Jora? This is about you too, apparently. All right. I've been working in my planner a little bit or writing in it. Tomorrow, I... I'm going to make sure that Mike's new suit coat matches his um, black pants and steam his new shirt so they don't have any weird um, wrinkles from being folded at the store. I'm going to come up with some interview questions. I'm going to look online, see what kind of questions to interview him with, and then I'm going to make him do a practice interview with me. And I also need to work on his mom's store um, on the tags and her buttons. Thursday, I'm going to lunch with Tiffany. Friday, I'm going to the Pistons game with Mike and Matt. Friday before the Pistons game is his interview that we are preparing for tomorrow. And Saturday, we're having a New Year's redo party. Um, we also have to go shopping to make uh, the queso dip that Mike always makes, kind of like his famous queso dip. And... Um, People just won't let him come to their party unless he makes a queso dip. <laughs> That's not true, but <laughs> everybody insists he makes it and brings it. I am watching the Red Wings game. Mike went to bed because he's pretty tired. Oh my god, <laughs> look at this hair. Look at, like... <sighs> he's got such long hair. Who is the guy? Hi. Hi. Hey, buddy. Hi. 
Oh my goodness, so excited. He's been so bored. He did pee and poop about an hour ago. That's good. So, what were all the comments on your beautiful face? Just a lot of people laughing at me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How that I look young and then it looks better and then it looks worse. And oh, really? You got better and worse, huh? Yeah. Who said better? Uh, like Kathy. Like all, like, you know, like the moms that are like... <laughs> yeah. The people who said it looked worse, like, you know... Devon and Steven. And so I have not steamed your stuff yet, but um, <laughs> oh, that was cute. Hey. Homie. You're so wiggly. Aww, I can't hold you. He is. He's so excited. Oh, Jesus. He's probably like, this bitch has been neglecting me today. I know. I heard he's stayed in bed till what, 2.30? No. Actually, we got out of bed at about 10.30 or 11. I woke up around 10 or so. <laughs> so Mike's checking out a gun safe that's in the closet um, and he might be able to use and he found some treasure. <laughs> An old Is there no other key in there EOS. What is this? A Rebel G 35 millimeter camera. Um, it's got a lens cover on it, a UV filter. And um, this is a nice freaking camera. It doesn't have any film in it. What a good find. Yay, grocery shopping. Oh, it's pretty. You got all the Valentine's Day stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's coming up too. Oh my goodness, who's home? 